Hello, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. Today, we are talking all things sports romances. You heard right, my friends. We're gonna talk about romance books that have sports in them. I haven't read a lot, or so I thought, and then when I compiled my list, I realized I have read quite a few sports romances. Now, this is just gonna be the tip of the iceberg. There are so so many books that are sports romances. So these are just kind of broad ones that I enjoyed. I'm breaking it down to sports that I've read from. Of course, there are more sports that I'm listing. Obviously, there's so many sports, but these are just some that I really enjoyed and maybe you will too. Also, just to let you know, some of these I have read so long ago that I've, um, I've forgotten what they're about. So I will not have the best description of them for you, which I apologize. But as always, they'll be linked down below for you to look more into it and see if you want to read it. So Let's get into it. First off, we're gonna start off with football. I feel like it's the most popular. I don't know. I'm not the biggest football fan. I don't, you know, it is what it is. I have three books that I think are great football reads. First off, of course, The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Maria Zapata. She's actually written a lot of sports romances, so this will not be the first time you see her on this list, my friend. But this is about, um, a character named Vanessa, who is the assistant to Aiden, who is a professional football player. I want to say he's on the defense side. I, <laughs> I know now. Um, but she decides to quit, and then he decide. Then he learns that he's going to get deported, and so he begs her to be his wife because he doesn't want to get deported. And it's kind of all about their romance from there. He is very strict with his job and what he eats, and he trains all the time. And it's a beautiful romance. It's a very slow burn romance most of her books are so just so you know but it's a beautiful one and like i said he's a football player and you get to see kind of the inner workings of the team and her being in the box and i loved it definitely my favorite football book for sure the cheat sheet by sarah adams this is a closed romance book which means that there is no steamy scenes in them any of sarah adams books will do that for you so in case you want some clean romances they are perfect for you this one follows two characters i forget their names but they're best friends they've been best friends for forever he is a professional football player and she was a professional dancer but she has since been injured and basically what happens is they have to fake a relationship because he needs some more media and so they fake a relationship even though they're both so clearly in love with each other and have been for forever so you get to see more about football again like I said and you get to see more of his teammates in fact a um, companion novel is coming out actually next month about one of the characters on his team. I believe it's called The Rule Book, which I do plan to read, but either way, it's a super cute romance featuring football. Next one I read so, so long ago, so please forgive me, and that is The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. This is about a retired football player. He still was a football player, so it counts, my friend. And he basically owns this company now, and then he meets a girl, and they kind of have a hate-to-love romance going on because they both are... Um, kind of heads of like these dating apps, if you will, and they're really just pivoting against each other. And it's a super steamy, super cute romance that I really enjoyed. You get to see what life is like after being a professional football player and how he navigates it with money and other jobs and things like that. And it's a great one. The last book I have is Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. This is one about a pro football player that during his downtime, <laughs> He owns a cupcake shop. It's not the most amazing thing ever. Like, ah. And his cupcake shop is not doing the best. And then comes in another character. Please forgive me. I forgot her name. I forgot both their names. But she basically was on The Bachelor and she made it all the way to the end. She got the rose and even the guy was like, will you marry me? And she was like, no. And so publicity has not been that great for her. And so she decides to try working at this bakery shop, you know, to help bring him some revenue with publicity and more people to shop. And it'll also help her give her a good image in the public eye. Obviously, it's a hate to love romance. It's super cute. You get to see football players baking and it's just adorable. Next up, we have basketball. And I only have one book for this when I need to read more basketball romances, it seems. And that one is The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. This is part of the Windy City series, which you will continue to see. In this video, each one of her books in the series features a different sport. This is the second one in the series, and it's basketball. Oh, again, I forgot the names. Uh, I want to say our main character's name is Indy, and then 
the other guy, the professional basketball player, is Alex. Ugh, I hope so. Basically, Indy's best friend is Alex's twin um, sister, and she doesn't have anywhere to stay, and so Indigo moves in with Alex, and they have to fake a relationship. They both clearly really like each other, but he is also very serious about his job, his sport. He's very serious about his schedule, and she kind of help loosens him up and try to enjoy life, and I love this one. So far, I've read two in the series, and it's my favorite of the two, but I would really recommend if you just want to get into sports romances, this is a great series to go for because each book features a different sport. Moving on to my favorite sport of all time is baseball. I love baseball. I never thought I would say I loved baseball, but I played softball a lot when I was younger. Like I got to the all-star team. I wasn't like amazing, but I was like decent. And then I broke my nose when I was like 12 and <laughs> I've been scared to play since. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I just do. But either way, I love baseball. If you don't know, my favorite team is the Braves. Always go for the Braves. <laughs> but either, So two books in this I'm going to mention. I haven't even read yet, but I'm going to recommend them because I'm reading them soon. And I hope I'm not biting myself. I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot by doing that, but just go with me. First one is Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. So this one is about two characters, Georgie and... Georgie and Travis. George, um, Travis is Georgie's older brother, best friend, and she's had a crush on him forever. He was a professional baseball player, but he got injured and now he cannot play ball anymore. But he's back in town and he learns that he can get a job. Is it hosting or sports commentary or something like that? Like, you know, watching the game broadcaster? I don't know. And he has to kind of clean up his bad boy image. So him and Georgie decide to fake date. And she tries to get him back into loving to play baseball because he's been kind of afraid since. It's a very steamy romance. And it doesn't feature like because he's not a professional baseball player anymore, but he's kind of navigating what to do after that. So it does have a lot of talks about baseball, which I loved. And we have another book in the Windy City series, Caught Up. This is the third book. Um, so I haven't read this one yet. I'm playing to read it next month because of opening day of baseball but either way this is about a character named Kai who is a pitcher for I think it's Chicago's MLB team it's not the Cubs <laughs> in this world I think it's like the Flyers or something I don't know but he has he's a single dad and he has a very young son and he is always rotating through nannies because he doesn't enjoy them and then he learns that his boss is like I would like my daughter to be your nanny because she's trying to find her way through life and she's not becoming a pastry chef anymore. Her name is Miller. Kai Rhodes forgot to have fun and I'm eager to jog his memory, but when he and his son feel like home, I have to remind them that my time in Chicago ends with the summer. Besides, I've always been a runner and the last thing I want to do is get caught. So it sounds like it's gonna be an amazing baseball romance that I can't wait to read. Speaking of another one that doesn't come out till June, but I do have an arc of it, so I'm pretty excited for that one. It is The Art of Catching Feelings by Alicia Thompson, I believe. This one is about two characters. One is a professional baseball player and the other one is a person as she does not like baseball at all. And she basically trolls this guy's account, I think. And then he comments back to her and something of that regard, I'm not too sure of the details, but I think she becomes a baseball lover much like myself and I think she has to kind of navigate her way through the baseball romance world and things like that she meets him in real life and all that kind of stuff and it sounds adorable and the cover oh my gosh the cover really drew me in so I wish I had more baseball romances and I really want to read more because I would love to do a whole video featured strictly on baseball romances. And to hockey I have Mile High also by Liz Tom Ford. This is the first book in the series. This book follows Xander who is a professional hockey player and he's a rough, rugged, bad boy. And then we feature Stevie, who is a flight attendant. And Xander is used to always getting what he wants. So when he tries to proposition Stevie, she's like, no. And so it becomes like a cat and mouse game. And it's a cute one. I didn't love it nearly as much as the sequel. Still cute. And if you want a good hockey fix, I would recommend it. My Phony Valentine by Courtney Wash. This is another clean romance one where I forgot the character's names, but it takes place also near Valentine's Day. I know it's past, but you know, it's still hockey. Basically, we have a professional hockey player runs into a girl at a small town and 
they're both kind of waiting in line for a coffee, like to get coffee. And this girl's like arch nemesis is like, he'll always be single forever. You'll never do anything. And then the hockey player guy hears this and he's like, hey, babe, like let's go get our coffee. I'm your boyfriend. He basically saves her and nobody can believe it. And they decide to kind of keep the spiel up because it helps her with her bakery down the street that's not doing so well financially. And it's just so sugary sweet and cute. You'll love it. You don't have to read it in your Valentine's Day, but it's super freaking cute. Moving on to ice skating, I have From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. I have started this, but I have yet to finish it because if you don't know, Mariana Zapata likes to write the world's longest romances, but this one is about um, a character named Jasmine who is a professional ice skater. She's not doing the best. She's not feeling happy with her career. Then she gets an opportunity to work with Ivan Lukov, um, who is an amazing pro skater. His um, partner in doubles, the pair skating, I think it's called, had to drop out sadly and so he's looking for somebody and so him and Jasmine pair up even though they do not like each other they've never liked each other and it's a slow burn romance that I haven't finished obviously <laughs> but I would recommend because I do love Mariana Zapata's books and I guarantee you it's going to be a very harrowing journey of them realizing that they don't hate each other that they like each other you get the gist. Another one I have is of course the very popular TikTok one, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This one is hockey and ice skating because both of our main characters she's a ice she's a ice skater he's a hockey player they have to share the rink and he really likes her she's comes she plays hard to get and kind of goes on from there it's not one of my favorites I don't it was just too lengthy in my opinion but it did feature a lot of either of those sports because they're both committed to it and both love it they're in college doing these things he's the captain I think and she's pretty pivotal on the ice skating team and it was good in that regard it's just not one of my favorite romances then golf <laughs> thought I would feature golf but here we are. Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. I just read this one not too long ago. We follow two characters Josephine and Wells. Well is a professional golfer and he is like happy Gilmore. He's grumpy, he cusses, everybody hates him and so he's like you know what I'm quitting. I am done. Josephine has been his number one fangirl forever and so she's very upset at him that he quits so she's just like fine I'm gonna quit being your fangirl. And then Wells is like crap I miss her and I do miss golf so he decides to go get her and he hires her to be his caddy for the people. PGA Tour and it's if you don't know Tessa Bailey books they're all very very steamy. This one wasn't my favorite romance. It did teach me about golf even though um I don't like golf. I would say like I'd watch football and we're golf that's not me but it was cute. If you're a golf fan I would check it out. Then we have bull riding slash like horse racing. <laughs> I don't know but I want to talk about the Chestnut Spring series in um, by Elsie Silver. So the first one is Flawless. We follow a character named Rhett who is a professional bull rider. I would, could never fathom that ever in my existence. That scares me. But basically he's the bad boy and he needs somebody to clean him up. So Summer comes along who works for this PR company and she's there to help him clean up his image. And so obviously relationship kind of develops and it's super cute. We also have the second book in the series is Heartless. Um, this one's not very sportsy, but he's like kind of a rancher guy. He knows horses. He does do the pinning. Like there's competition with pinning cows with horses. I don't know. I don't get it. But she's also like a professional horse rider. Like she does jockeying or I feel so stupid. And this one I want to say is about, I, oh, this one's ice hockey. I should have said that in the other one. Um, we follow Jasper, who's a professional ice hockey player. Sloan is a professional horse rider. So we kind of get mixed. But either way, if you want kind of some rough and rugged cowboys and stuff, Chestnut Spring series is great for you, as well as Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I'm reading that one right now. And it's, she's a professional um, horseback rider as well. I don't know what it's called and I hate myself for that. But either way, they're just kind of got that cowboy-esque thing to them, which I love. Lastly, we're going to go with tennis. This is not really a romance, but it features a lot about the sport, which is why I'm going to talk about it. Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love this one. This one is obviously about Carrie Soda. She was like the bomb of all bomb, like tennis players. She went out and retired at a young age at the top of her game and now it's been years later she's not doing retirement that well because she misses her sport and some young hotshot is coming in to take all of her titles and she's like no 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 I earned those titles I did so she decides to train back up again and go back into um not the ring but the court if you <laughs> the court obviously 
She decides to train back up and go back onto the court to reclaim her titles to show that she is still the best of the best, no matter her age. And she's not old. She's like in her 30s. But, you know, in tennis world and sports worlds, that's old because of, you know, professional and stuff. This is a great one. This does have a romance in it. So I feel okay with recommending it. But it's not exclusively all romance. But if you just want a great book about tennis, this is a perfect one. So there you have all of my sports romances. Did I miss some? Absolutely. And am I and I will definitely read more in the future. But these are just ones that I really enjoyed and would recommend. Hopefully you liked it that I broke it down to sports for you in case you like one sport over the other. Totally understand. But I hope this kind of helped you get into the world. Just nudge your toe into the pool of sports romances. If you have any favorite sports romances, please leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I need to read some more. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.